हनी हनी गोल्डन एंड स्वीट हैज ऑलवेज बीन हेल्ड इन हाई रिगार्ड द बाइबल रेफर्स टू हैवन एज द लैंड ऑफ मिल्क एंड हनी इन एंशियंट टाइम्स हनी वॉज कंसिडर्ड द फूड ऑफ द गॉड्स एंड द सिंबल ऑफ वेल्थ एंड हैप्पीनेस इट वॉज यूज एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ सस्टेनेंस एंड ऑफर्ड इन सेक्रीफाइज इन द मिडल एजेस हनी वॉज द बेसिस फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मीड एन एल्कोहोलिक बेवरेज because of its antiseptic qualities physicians found it a perfect covering for wounds before the advent of bandages even napoleon was enchanted by it choosing the honey bee for his personal crest beekeeping is one of the oldest forms of animal husbandry early beekeepers encouraged the establishment of bee colonies in cylinders of bark reed straw and mud however when the honeycomb was removed from the cylinders the colony was destroyed honey bees were brought to north america in the mid 1600s although there were bees on the continent they were not honey bees early settlers took note of the bees penchant for hollow logs they developed a bee gum by placing sticks crosswise over the opening of the logs to support the honeycombs this not only allowed for the comb to be removed from one end but also kept the comb intact so that the colony could use it again In Europe beekeepers working towards a similar goal developed a device called a scap it was essentially a basket placed upside down over the beehive the full honey bees were removed from underneath a further innovation called for cutting a hole in the top of the hive and placing a straw or wooden box over the hole the box could eventually fill with honey as well it could then be removed without harming the comb in the mid 19th century an american named moses quimby improved upon the beekeeping system by layering a number of boxes over the main chamber but it was the lavrent Langstroth who was responsible for creating the basis for the method that is currently used Langstroth movable frame hive allowed for easy extraction and reinsertion of the combs It consisted of a base a hive body fitted with frames The hive body consists of a wooden box divided into an upper chamber and a lower chamber. The honey chamber also has one or more removable sections which are fitted with frames for honey storage. The honey is stored in the honeycomb cells in the brood chamber of the combs. the bottom board collects the produced honey which can then be extracted through the entrance cleat the entire system is protected with waterproof covers and supported at the base with the hive stand soft drinks Heavy soft drinks consumption is associated with aggression, attention problems and withdrawal behavior in young children a new study has found. The study by researchers at Columbia University's Mailman School of Public Health, University of Vermont and Harvard School of Public Health assessed approximately 3000 
five year old children the children were enrolled in the fragile families and child well being study a prospective birth cohort that follows mother child pairs from 20 large us cities mother reported their child's soft drinks consumption and completed the child behavior checklist based on their child's behavior during the previous 2 months the researchers found that 43% of the children consumed at least one serving of soft drinks per day and four or more aggression withdrawal and attention problems were associated with soda consumption after even adjusting for socio demographic factors such as maternal depression marital violence and paternal incarceration any soft drink consumption was found to be linked to increased aggressive behavior children who drank four or more soft drinks per day were more than twice as likely to destroy things belonging to others get into fights and physically attack people they also had increased attention problems and withdrawal behavior compared with those who did not consume soft drinks we found that the child's aggressive behavior score increased with every increase in soft drinks servings per day said shakira sugalia mailman school assistant professor of epidemiology although this study cannot identify the exact nature of the association between soft drink consumption and problem behaviors but limiting or eliminating a child's soft drink consumption may reduce behavioral problems researchers said clothing not cause self consciousness furthermore our clothing should not arouse our own consciousness some people are always conscious of what they wear this means that something is wrong with their attire they have become a coat hanger to their clothes and their clothes have become more important than they are they are not wearing their clothes instead their clothes are wearing them they are always conscious of what they are wearing they pay too much attention to their appearance This means that their dress is either too good or too poor. When a person is poorly dressed, he becomes conscious of his clothes in the company of others. When he wear fancy attire, he becomes conscious of his clothes as well. Both are wrong. It is best to wear something which does not arouse your attention. or the attention of others your clothes should be very ordinary at the same time it should match your status and should be worthy of christ the endeavor to maintain proper standards of fairness in journalism must be pursued it is fairly easy for the journalist to deviate from the state path there is his natural desire to make a story and insidious temptation to twist facts to square with his paper's policy both are as indefensible as the framing of misleading headlines for the sake of effect The conscientious journalist must check any tendency to bias and guard against the dangerous inherent in personal antipathies or friendships and in traditional opposition between rival school of thought. When an political opponent 
whose stupidity habitually provokes attack makes an effective speech honesty requires that he be given credit for it where personal relationships might make it easier and more congenial to keep silent than to criticize the journalist must never forget his duty to the public and the supreme importance of recording the truth